a twink and a red head a twink and a red head a twink and a red head a twink Hi, you guys. Hi, well, and Ash. Welcome back to the second episode of A Twink and a Redhead, the podcast. The podcast. You guys, Ashley did something <laughs> <laughs> putrid Stop. before he started recording. No, I didn't. You're yes, literally you did. lying because it was Grant <laughs> that did it. And he's trying to say it was me because he's a fake person. Wait, that's crazy, though, to think about what you're doing right now. What am I doing? Gaslighting. Oh, and now you're going to turn it back on me. Oh, that, my God. That's actually classic. And you know, it's pride. Not us dating the podcast. I was going to say it's pride month. It was pride month seven weeks ago. But it's always Pride <laughs> Month in our apartment. No, it's it wasn't Pride. It's not Pride Month. It's July something right now, you guys. Like we're we don't we. One thing about us is we don't film like in advance. Like we're not those kind of podcasters no. who, like, we're well, the, we're gonna record like all these at one time and like change our shirts. We're in the moment. Speaking of which, look at my shirt. Oh my god! So guys, I got Grant this shirt for his birthday. It says. Life is a highway, and I want to drive over the guardrails. And, and there's an it's image. With Lightning McQueen, and he has X's on his eyes mm-hmm. um, to insinuate that he's dead, and he's on fire. So he's a little beat up. He, like, totally um, crashed. Yeah, he definitely has been injured in this collision of some sort. But Grant and I, there were a few weeks ago, I could not <laughs> stop playing Life is a Highway by Rascal Flatts. I literally was like, this song like the mm-hmm. pen that wrote these lyrics was dipped in like this Gold. divine power from the gods above. Like it was magical. It, it, it is. Life is a highway. Hey, hey I want to ride it all, all night, night long. long. And when I get obsessed with something, like mm. it, it consumes me and to the point where I it. was commenting on rascal flats instagram and i was just saying like i fucking love you guys <laughs> i was one of four comments on one of their posts and i just said i fucking love you guys <laughs> I, and then i said can we can you guys please go on tour like please go in on that tour. moment when i was obsessed with that song i think i was prepared to pay like two grand for front row seats to rascal oh my flats. god yeah yeah the, and, but, the serotonin the is, i don't know any other rascal songs i don't know if rascal is his name if it's the it, band it's his last name flat is he flat? Like, we don't know what that means. I have no idea. That's a good point. That's a really but, good point. But um, I would pay two grand just to walk in at, like, oh, I probably this during the encore. Walk in at the end. Here, life is a highway. I'd walk right the fuck out. Paid $2,000, but who cares? That's two grand experience right there. Yeah. It's such a good song. It's such a good song. It's such a good if song. If you haven't fucking heard it, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, Stop what you're doing. Don't listen to this shit. Go on your Spotify. favorite. Go on Spotify and type in Life is a Highway by Rascal Flats," and you will literally transcend to the universe above. Like you're going to fucking eat that shit up. Yeah. Yeah. It's a gay anthem as well, I would say. It's it's an anthem for any it's an anthem for everyone. person. Any identity can relate to life is a highway one thing about us even cars that's the thing about it what's the thing we also don't know is was that song was that song written for cars the movie or was it already out well okay so i have two thoughts they watched the movie cars they were asked to pen the like main song for the soundtrack and they were like cars and they wrote life is a highway or, or it was already a Disney, thing. Pixar was like, there's this great song by Rascal Flatts, Life's a Highway, we're going to use it for our movie. Yeah. I kind of think it was the latter. I think it, I feel like it was the latter. I feel like I knew I that song wrote before. It, but that Cars brought it to the mainstream. Cars sure. And Cars brought it to life, quite frankly. I mean, when I listen to that song, I think I'm Lightning McQueen gliding. Down Route 66. What a, what a hot Spring. car. <laughs> Let's just No, you know say, who was hot in that movie? Mater. The sheriff. <gasps> Doc. Uh, who used to be a former racer. Hot. Yeah. Silver Fox. Yeah. Mater 
I'm kind not. Of, I'm not into that. He was dirty. He, he was had. Dirty. Be, he. Oh, Mater unfortunately had body odor. I was gonna say that man was not wearing deodorant. No, and it's so annoying because he also is one of those people who's like unaware. Like he's it wasn't, the type of person who puts cologne over themselves to cover up the smell of their body odor, but it does not work. That's not and the same. And it's Axe. Yeah, and it's Axe it's body Axe. spray that body he's like spray. spraying. That sucks. Yeah, because he doesn't know. No one's tell. No one's brave enough to tell him. But I'm not sexually attracted to Mater. Like I'm sexually attracted to Doc. I'm definitely sexually attracted or to Lightning McQueen. Lightning. Yeah, I mean Lightning. he's so <gasps> main character energy. Um, the brothers, the tire shop, the Italian. They brothers. were something about them. They were hot. Yeah. Um, 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 um. You know who fucking pissed me off? Who? Just the look of her. <laughs> Sally. Yes. <laughs> shut the fuck. <laughs> Oh. I know she was pick me energy, and that color blue, that like color I, blue, was tacky. It was tacky, but I, in, but in the two thousands, that color had such a moment. I feel like Ashley Tisdale, like oh, every red so carpet, she was always wearing it. I feel like, it's like Paris Hilton would have had that, like that satin blue color. Like Sally, for the moment, I think she might have been doing something. But also, what was her car model like? A fucking I Honda I, Civic. Yeah, it was. Like, what it was, was giving Honda Civic. Like, or a I Ford can... Taurus. Oh, it you was think? giving four two thousand five Ford Taurus. What the fuck was that? You know what else? Why? I was thinking about this just now. In cars, <laughs> cars. The whole premise is he gets like knocked off. He was at a race. He lost. He goes in his truck. The truck carries him from place to place. Mac, the truck, falls asleep and lightning falls out the back. What a statement on <laughs> labor. Wait, wait, I definitely like stopped paying attention. Mac what are you talking about? Mac. All tr- I all I got caught up on was the fact that Lightning McQueen was inside Mac. And that yeah. sat a little wrong to yeah, me. Yeah, you're right. But, but what are you talking but about? Mac was carrying lightning to the next race. Yeah. And Mac fell asleep because he was overworked. It's such a statement on capitalism. Uh, he was overworked by this rich man who was literally sleeping inside of him, like using the anatomy, mm. the, the physical <laughs> everything yes. of Mac and exploiting him. And then it's disgusting. And then Mac falls asleep on the job because he's overworked and somehow it's his fault that lightning gets lost. And then lightning learns a lesson. He's the hero of the movie. It's bullshit. Wow. Yeah, that's a that's viewing cars through a Marxist lens. Who the fuck is Mark? Marx. Karl Marx. He's the founder of communism. Jesus Christ. Go on fucking Wikipedia. So you're a communist. I sympathize. Oh. You need to. I don't op- even know. Like I couldn't tell you what. I couldn't tell damn you. Damn Wikipedia. <laughs> okay. Well, Mater. Should we get into the theme <laughs> of this episode? <laughs> Sorry for that rant about cards. No, but that was fun. Let's was dive fun. into the tone of this episode. Is, is virtual, virtual world. world. And girl, we are talking. We are talking. Webkins. Club Penguin. Disney Channel Original Games. Really? Pizza Party Pickup? Okay, well, okay we'll get into that. Yeah, one. okay. Let's start with Webkins. Yes, please. I can remember the first time someone showed me Webkins. They mm-hmm. had a, the tree, or I think she had the tree frog. It was like a family friend, and she had the tree frog. And I sat on a stool. What, and kind, of fur, what kind of fur was it? Was it the... The ding, the dingleberry. No, it wasn't. You don't want to talk about that. It was just the like flat. Really? Like almost like felt. Oh, okay, that's nice. That's nice. But then it had like a plasticky bottom because it was a tree frog, so it had like a sticky. Yeah. Um, I remember the first time I saw Webkins, and I was playing the game Bonanza, the one where the monkey jumps. I literally, my life changed that day. I was like, I am going to play this every second of my life forever. Mm. And then an obsession began. The first Webkins I got was the pig. I named him Cotton Candy. And then I had, I think when I ended my career in Webkins, I had 78. I definitely stopped. I had the 78 teams. webkins and I actually, I wrote down some of the names of my webkins. Got, please and I share them. Read. Please share them. That's really crazy though. 78. I, I, I had a webkins, but I stopped around like 
It's 13. Okay, hold on. Do you want to know She's pulling up her phone. Yes. She's pulling up her phone. I had a cat named Mouse Mellow. It was funny. (laughs) Wait, why was it funny? Mouse. Marshmallow, Mouse Mellow. Okay. Bob Wiki Wiki Woe. What animal was that? A hippo. Of course. I had another hippo named Electricity. Of course. Frank. (laughs) Mia One. What what animal is Frank? A dog? A a frog. Okay. Mia One. Mia Two. These are dogs. These are dogs. Because I had a dog growing up named Mia. Mia And she died. No, yeah, she did. May she rest in peace. But I had a white poodle and I named, I got that one first. I named her Mia. But... My poodle in real life was black, and then I finally got the black poodle webcam, so, like, so I named shit. her Mia too. Okay. To be more authentic. It's like Krusty Krab 1, Krusty Krab 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I went through like a whole food theme. Pudding. Bagel. Bagel. Chicken nugget. What the fuck was chicken nugget, dog? Why do I keep this? Chicken Monkey. nugget was, I think. It was brown, right? He had a brown brown. Place. Chicken nugget was the monkey, okay. I think. And then I had the love puppy. That was a really sought after. Was kids. that an ex, like a limited time only? So the love puppy. There was like a love. There were was love frogs. Liter- so there were like these limited time only like holiday webkins. Do they know like- what webkins is? If you don't know what webkins is, you're either too old oh or God. too young to be yeah. listening to this. I'm sorry. We don't have to explain. Webkins was like the best thing that ever existed. And people our age, it was such like a. A time to be alive. It's so anyway, weird, the impact. Anyway. So there were limited time, limited availability webkins for every holiday. Like there was one for Easter, Christmas, blah, 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 blah. I was going to Hilton Head in second grade to visit my grandparents who were what staying the there for Hilton a few Head? weeks. It's um, like it's a, a hotel. No, it's a cute little beach in South Carolina. It's right near Georgia. Okay. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. Um, and... I, sk- I I took, like, I don't know. My mom took me out of school. We went to Hilton Head. It was fun. And I was really upset because my friends played Webkins every day together, and I couldn't play when we were down there, and it was tragic. Oh. You're not going to believe this. I was walking on, like, this shopping area in Hilton Head. Grant, you're going to die. Why? What do I see in the store? They had one more love puppy that had been sold out everywhere no. else and, and were you like and searching? i got the love puppy you guys when i came back to second grade the next week i was like a fucking celebrity it, when i walked was, in with were that we love really puppy. that young it was second yeah grade. yeah yeah it was second grade because you came in with it you, I, so you would I, bring your webkins. yeah we would because we weren't allowed to play webkins in school so then we would play the stuffed animals oh that's so and we smart. would like play with them and our teacher even got webkins for herself and she would like okay. try to relate to us it was cute no it was fun did she have an account and was she friending you guys no she was not okay. our friend but she did have okay. an account because she had young children too so she was just trying to see what was up okay um and she wanted to like talk to her students and be sure, like yeah i was on sure. webkins last night oh, okay. um so fun it really is such a genius idea like not only can you play online but then yeah you bring yeah. the physical thing into school like the stuffed animal that's well so and smart. it's hard like i think webkins at one point were like it was like 25 dollars, and like in that time before all this inflation, do you remember like, that was expensive it was it started at like 15 yeah and i remembered it, gra- it just dra- gradually got, getting up and more but because it's like physical too like you could kind of justify that yeah did you have to pay for a membership or no? Was that your like, that was your membership? Because yeah, came with a code. that's a deal. Ever, did you ever just try to guess codes? Because okay, so it came <laughs> no. with a code. Like your animal came with a tag and it had a code, and the mm-hmm. code brought you to like the adoption center on the webkin site, and then you unlocked your webkins. But the code, I don't know, it was like an eight-digit code. Sometimes, like when I was bored, I would just go on and like try to guess codes, and it never worked. Can you please? tell the story about how you you robbed someone's webkins house i would i would love to i did want to say one more thing yes please 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 was there ever a rumor in your elementary school that all the webkins had viruses and they were like no no." there was this rumor in second grade and like my whole class we'd bring our webkins every day every kid in the class was like playing webkins and we all it's all all anyone talked about 
And there was a rumor. I don't know how it started. It started online or, or what. That there was a, vi- a computer virus affecting webkins and that they were going to get red eyes and explode and die and you weren't oh. going to be able to log into webkins anymore we were so scared that like there were kids like crying in class saying like their webkins were dead our teacher who also had a webkins literally went on the projector logged into webkins oh. to show us that everything was what okay a queen. yeah we were terrified but there would always be this rumor that like webkins was like there was like a pandemic on webkins or like a terrorist attack on webkins like we thought it was like wait was it the animals who would get red eyes and die or you would the animals would get red eyes oh and that's die. what y'all were bugging about well we thought all our webkins were dead and we weren't gonna be able to play anymore like wow. it was like the original social media for me because i would always wow. i'd go to my friend's house and i would chat with them oh my yeah. god it was so going fun. to friend's house was such a thrill yeah like visiting each other's friends. And it was such a weird layout. Like it was just endless rooms. Remember that? Remember how rare... How how into Webkins were you? Because I could go really detailed. I was definitely more into Club Penguin. Like oh, that was okay. more my speed. But Webkins, I I definitely played Webkins for... Well, do like, you know about the lore of the Egyptian furniture? I, I can't. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think I was that into it. There okay, so there were certain items that were only sold in Artie's curio shop. Yeah, Artie, the Artie. hottest He's fucking so character fucking of all time. Um, you know who wasn't the penguin, Mister yes, Doctor Quack. Yes, Doctor Quack was not hot. He was blatantly like abusing our web webkins in front of us. Okay, why did that? Why you don't did... need to make accusations right <laughs> now. Okay, but the way like that that whole scene would play out when you'd go to the fucking doctor's office and then the curtain would close in front of you like that's your kid what that's is he- so true because like if you're taking your kid to the pediatrician what? you're not letting someone put, <laughs> put a curtain up and like you hear these like, noises yeah that's actually so true right now and then look at him like, even so if think i was taking my at- dog to the vet and they put up like a cloak <laughs> i'd be like what sinister things are you doing back there right what are you doing that i as a parent of this webkins can't, can't see, see that i purchased like i bought and like, like you're he's making yours. such valid claims um crazy anyway back to the egyptian furniture yeah um there were these uh, certain items that already sold at his curio shop that were so fucking expensive because they were so <laughs> <laughs> like like in webkins coins or real <laughs> they money were so rare and like they were only like there were only eight items being sold at a time so like it you it was just luck of the draw like i I only came across three pieces of the Egyptian collection my entire career on Webkins, which was a long, longer than I'd like to admit. Uh-huh. And I just remember I would like literally be up at night thinking about that Egyptian collection. Sorry, that's a deep cut, but like those who get it will Wait, fucking like, get that. Yeah, you were losing. There was like a beds, there. desks, chairs, and I think like, I can Egyptian picture it. Themed. And I remember like a friend invited me over to their house, and they had every thing of that egyptian collection i was like you fucking bitch like i was so jealous i think like the thing with webkins was it was too like widespread for me like i i'm a very empathetic person Mm. and so like Mm. (laughs) okay well with things i care about i care a lot about and so it's like how can i share my love across 78 webkins that's like I, hard it re- is hard like i remember i had the og brown and white dog like you know what i'm talking about like the one of the faces of webkins you know what i'm talking about he was hot you, oh, had, it was you a- did not have the fucking cheeky dog yes i did i you was you OG- did not have the, you're telling me you had the fucking cheeky dog yes i'm telling you, you realize I, how rare that is i was a really early like when i was buying webkins they were 15 dollars, and then i stopped you like, did a, not have the cheeky yes fucking dog. i did the brown and white dog and i remember the, the it had dingleberries i don't know how else to describe <laughs> it had tassels I, like the fur, that, that's right? the rarest webkins of all i've well, only fuck. ever come across a few in my whole life are like you it's kidding? It's literally like seeing a unicorn. Are you? I think I got it from Learning Express. Grant, those were sold on on eBay for like three thousand dollars. Well, if I fucking knew that now, I would still. Are you kidding? My, I had one cheeky dog. I think I named it Grant because I didn't know what I was doing either. I think I was an OG user. Like I think I was I'm one. So shocked. Well, speaking of the cheeky dog, I conv- I committed like. <laughs> 
Yes, tell tell the robbery. burglary, like literally like a federal crime on Webkins. Yeah. So, me and a friend in. Well, we had to be in like fourth grade. Yeah, we were in fourth grade. And did you not know her? Because she was in I didn't my know her. school. I didn't know her. We're, we had, we were in separate elementary schools in her town. But I had a friend who was in Grant's elementary and school. He, and he knew her. And he was friends with this other girl. Oh, my God. And my friend told me, this girl, let's call her Sarah, has the cheeky dog. My jaw hit the fucking floor. I was like, no, she doesn't. She doesn't have the cheeky dog. It's the rarest Webkins of all. And he said... Yes, she does. And every Webkins came with a special furniture item. So the cheeky dog bed was the rarest item you could have in Webkins. It was like such a status symbol. It was like having a goddamn Birkin bag. Wow. Like so rare. And what did it look like? It was a bunk bed, which was rare in Webkins. And it was blue and red. I had it. I can picture it right now because I craved it. My walls were, like, blue and red, I think. Uh, I was, like, an interior decorator in Webkin, so <laughs> I bet your rooms were nothing compared to mine. Um, no, they weren't. So, we... <laughs> Not a lot of Literally plotted and schemed on how we were going to hack into this girl's Webkins and steal her furniture out of her home, send it to us, I can't remember the details <laughs> of how we did it, but he knew her password because she was going on vacation and wasn't going to have access to her webkins. He and gonna watch she, she asked him to webkins sit, like watch the animals, make sure they're fed. Cause like you do have to feed your webkins. Oh yeah, they get like sad or something. They get uh, like sad and hungry. And that was like a few months prior. So he still knew this password. And we literally like, planned to meet up at like 9 p.m which is kind of late when you're like nine or ten yeah what go on our desktop computers at our homes we're on our like landline phones like plotting this and we both we hacked into her account (laughs) and we sent because you could send gifts we sent her furniture to us (laughs) <laughs> she definitely, she definitely knew. Get I mean, she, I never had a conversation about it, but you she didn't even see, know you. You could see who <laughs> you're sending things to. So that's where I'm like not remembering the details. <laughs> She's probably Maybe like, we went Ashley because like no, because I three. think my username was like nondescript. Oh my god! And then we. I don't, I don't remember, but I know we did that. And I know I like, we would like share custody of the cheeky dog bed and we just got all, I think I stole some Egyptian collection items. Like I stole some rare items and looking back, I'm like, I literally was committing like basically armed robbery. (laughs) Armed? Like, I don't know. For that age. We were armed with her. her Yeah. We were armed with bad intentions. I would say how many malicious, how many webkins did this girl have? I think she had over a hundred. So she was like, come oh on, God. you could share, share the wealth share again. The wealth. Like, like share the wealth. It was like, it was very Marxist of us to do. What? What the, f- why is this? the? We theme? were like a little <laughs> you- communist saying you are hoarding the wealth and we need to, you know, uh, yeah, take no. over the means of production. Was and she- I wonder if she was an only child. She wasn't. She wasn't. She she wasn't. wasn't. Okay. Well, I was going to say you could have taught her a lesson about yeah. sharing. But. No, but I, I do feel bad about that. I do want to express my sympathies yeah, for doing so that. We, I'm so sorry I did that. That was rude of me. But do you regret it? I do. But I had that cheeky dog bed and like. And you slept good that night. Your webkin slept good that night. They did. But I don't. If I logged into my webkins now, which I do probably like once a year just to check in. What? That, yeah, I still go on because every now and then I no. crave like Polar Plunge. Like I need to play around. That's that's Club Penguin. Polar Plunge? No, it's not. It's webkins. You are a polar <laughs> bear going down a hill and you're going over like these like um, little hills and you do tricks. <laughs> you're on a sled. Okay. You're on a sled. That's an important detail. You know what got me fucking wild? What? The fucking wheel of wow. Wonder? The wheel of wow. What was it? The wheel the of we- wow. 
the wheel, the wheel of, of wow. wow. I also loved that. And then the wishing wow. Yes. Wishing wow was magical. What was the gems thing? Like that you'd was go just mine you'd go mine something? for the, the rainbow crown of wonder. Did you ever get it? Hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs> I did Welcome get that. I got. I had like shop. three crowns of wonder. Hmm. Yeah. In what? fact, like, oh my god, I had so many of those gems. I'd be so mad because sometimes you had three chances. If if it was nothing, I'd be so mad. I'd be like, I'm literally wasting my time. <laughs> I'm in the coal mine. Webkins was crazy because it's like, okay, you're gonna, we're gonna put you down in the mines. You're gonna like mine for your little piece of wealth. I don't know why I'm like a communist this episode. I'm just like <laughs> mad. That I feel like Webkins was like in, ingraining capitalism within us because we were like, oh, we need to like oh, wow. mine for our little piece of status in this world. It's fucked up. And that's what led me to commit armed robbery in Webkins. <laughs> Woo! Give it up. Um, so shall we get into Club Penguin then? I would love to. So club I did some crazy stuff on Club Penguin. Club too. Penguin was crazy. I outgrew Webkin so fast and made my way over to Club Penguin like yeah. immediately. Club Penguin was a more grown up version. It's like once you graduated Webkins, you went to Club Penguin. And Club Penguin, something I appreciate about Club Penguin that like Webkins didn't have is like it was such like a a world. Like it was free roaming. Like Webkins, I felt like you were so, like, constrained in a way. That's true because it's, like, okay, you go to the arcade, but you couldn't, like, you can't walk, walk around. around. Can't what walk I around. like about Club Penguin, it was a much more social and interactive game. I, the, the, like, there was just different areas you could hang out. And, yeah. And, like, you had, the, you had room to, like, make your own opinions about those areas. Like, I never went to, like, goddamn plaza. I never went to the I fucking plaza. To the plaza. I went to the town. But I did go to the plaza when I wanted to go to the pizza shop and play that one game. I kind of liked that game. So you don't know shit about Club Penguin. Why? It's not in the plaza. The pizza shop is in the town. <laughs> the pla- the, the fucking the like pet shop. The nightclub's in the town. The town is the pizza part. Oh! You're a fucking <gasps> piece of shit. I'm wrong. The nightclub. The it's the coffee, ni- the coffee shop, shop and, and the, the clothing store. Clothing store. Fuck. And then the plaza is the the, the pizza pet store. Parlor. You, the audacity of you to just accuse me of not knowing oh my Club my Penguin God. geography. I'm basically like a tar- a cartographer for Club Penguin. Do you remember bef- um Well, actually, t- in the later years, they installed a mall in the plaza. Did you know that? Mm-mm. They, Mm-mm. Did, Mm-mm. they installed Mm-mm. like a mall. Remember when they dropped the dojo? Yes, that was crazy. And then the second dojo next door. Remember during like the holidays, there would be like scavenger hunts and like yes, and everything was themed. Like you'd have to click on your screen because something would come flying through. Would you pay for the membership? I would. Of course, of I course. Would. It's but so not embarrassing until, if you if you didn't. Well, not until later on because I think someone got it for me as a birthday gift because my parents. Oh, you could get gift cards. My parents That's what probably do. dropped like a thousand dollars on all my fucking webkins. <laughs> So then they were like, I'm not paying for another goddamn subscription to something. I think I have vivid memory of like stealing my dad's like, <laughs> card out of his like wallet in his office and like going. And I would I would go on my dad's like work laptop and to play, play webcam and like the viruses probably like that oh shit God. was moving slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I loved also. OK, I was a Club Penguin hacker. I had this pro mean? I had this program called Penguin Storm. Talk about viruses. I downloaded this like client or something and so it's like this whole separate app basically and you open it up and you log in through this app. Ashley, you could do anything on uh, on it. You could be any size you wanted. Could you like So you could be giant. The, of course, Club Penguin money maker. I never worked for my money. No, I always no. Like, Sims had something similar too. You just type in mother load and you go. You yeah, become rich. Ha- well, this I I used this program too. Uh, also, it had any catalog, like d- because you know how some catalogs would go away like after certain months, or th- it was like monthly. Oh, there would be. You know how you could change your igloo. You could be like yes. a gingerbread house. There were secret 
point. Okay, yes, but that, this is so that's so amateur. Oh, this was like you could be this igloo that was from 2006 and it hasn't been seen but since. You could be a pirate. Could ship. other people see it? Yes, see it? Yes, yes. So there was like an era of time, like probably like a, a few years. I don't actually know. But, like, yes, other people could see it. And if you were cool. giant, other people would see it. You could clone yourself. So there'd be, like, a hundred of you. <gasps> Do you know about the Club Penguin gangs? Uh, the literal gangs. Tell me about it. They There were, like, l- different cults or whatever of Club Penguin people. Like, armies. Did they call it armies? But I know one about of them the armies, wore, yeah. One of them wore, like, the sombrero and the Mexican poncho. <laughs> Like, they all would wear that, and they would all, like, take over, like, different rooms. <laughs> I don't know what the purpose was, It'd be, though. like, a mob. It would be a giant with mob. With racial that... undertones. Honestly, yes! <gasps> because you know what else they would fucking do? They would wear the ghost costume. Oh, my God. Why was that a thing? I don't <gasps> know. I oh, mean, my God. This is bringing up such memories, and now like I'm Like, it was, it like, fifth to eighth grade maybe eighth grade may have been a little yeah. late that we were playing so i feel like it is when people start to become like edgy and do offensive things because that was crazy stupid. yeah um but actually i i lost my virginity in clipping with yeah do you know what i mean no i've <laughs> you had, I fully like there was an era you were like sexting because yes. i would get kicked off for saying like no, you had a talking code. You had a talking code. Like, I would go to the town. I would look for like a pink penguin. And I'd be like, do you want to like come back to my igloo? And I I don't know how I even found this you one. Did, you there knew was these a, people? Oh, you had like a I, solid person that you I, I I had like a Rolodex at one point of like penguins I knew like I could like fuck. <laughs> and there was this one I remember vividly We went back to my igloo It was unfurnished It might have been her igloo It was like just the standard Small igloo Right I don't think she had a membership Because she was like a nude Purple penguin And we were like We got really close to each other And She would be like She would type like Puts in <gasps> Yeah <laughs> Yeah. No, like, we were, like, having sex, like, in the igloo. Would you, like... We would just be... I, was I aroused was, by it? Yeah. I think I was young, so I didn't really know what was going on. I mean, you were luring and I was, women like, back to your igloo. Okay, but this pr- this purple nude penguin specifically <laughs> was very, like, forthcoming. Like, she was aggressive. No, I'm not and minimizing... She was, asking, she was asking I'm for not it. minimizing her experience here. But I just feel like you had to be getting a little satisfaction from it, given that you were like. I was. And, and you know, if she like logged off, I would go back to the town. Find, oh, and you would find just, a new one. Wow. I mean, they you all just look. Just dump her just like that. Purple penguin, pink penguin. Same thing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but, you know, like that one was crazy. I loved playing. I never, I never dipped my toe into penguin sex like you did yeah i just well, never really got into that i'm shocked at like the person on the other side i mean it's the same as you i guess so who is she like where is I, she I would love to know maybe she's a furry that's giving like furry pipeline yeah. uh but that would mean <laughs> i'm a furry well not everyone i would say like maybe like six out of ten yeah. end up Six out of ten people who were into the fucking on Club Penguin became a furry. Based on, and I know this. And fact, I mean, there's still based hope on for me. There's still hope. <laughs> yeah, you might see a mascot one day and Ooh. go crazy. Oh my god! You know Benny the Bull, Chicago Bulls. Oh, Benny I thought you were bull. talking about the Dora character, her friend that Oops. was a bull. I, no, I think his name was Benny. Oh my god, was he red? No. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, Benny the Bull, I was like scrolling his Instagram and I was... Chicago. Yes, I was getting yeah. like... I was like thinking about it. You could sympathize with the furries? I get it. What was that noise? What? <laughs> you just squeaked. I, I get it. 
I don't know. But anyway, anyway, Club back Penguin. to Club Penguin. Um, Were the you... igloos, the ig- I, I was an igloo girl. Like I just, I, I was an interior decorator. I, I was would literally buy, should have an HGTV show. I would buy. You're giving Drew Barrymore right now with how close. You are. <laughs> I would buy hundreds of the blue puffle beds and I would, I and so I would many. lay, I would buy the double layer igloo. So it has like a lower floor. I lo- floor. That was the one I had. Yes. I like saved up my money. Cause but that was before uh, see, I knew about no. the, that was before yeah, I knew that's about the embarrassing. Code. So anyway, well, it taught me fiscal responsibility. So I don't think that's oh, okay. Well, whatever. So I would lay out all the puffle beds, all the blue puffle beds. I'd make yeah. an ocean of them and I would make, I'd put them on the staircase. So it looked like there was a water slide and I would that's also so buy the red tubes and put them out. And then I'd go to the town and I'd say huge water slide at my Iggy on map. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> no. Cause I was just come. about to say, I remember there would always be like fashion show at my, my igloo. Iggy. Those were fucking scams. Those I, were stupid. I never liked I them. Or like off. dance party at my Iggy or like hide and seek. That was fun playing hide and seek. But I really like it with your my friend. But your username is showing up. That's but you it. know, it, you would play with your friend and you know. If oh they God, were and they would like throw a snowball at you to be like, found you. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Wait, I have a question for you though. What was your favorite like game on Club Penguin? Because there was the like, um, one year rock hoppers lighthouse, the one where you're the water the one. Oh, the, the tube, water the tube, one, the tube yeah, one. Yeah. And then there was the sledding one. I loved that one. I have to tell you, um, I wasn't a huge game girl. Like I really found joy in the, the, in the game itself. The I, socialization see, stuff. I loved the sledding. And then uh, yeah. I loved that fishing game. The sledding was fun too, because I mean I'm sure there's other games too on Club Penguin there like this, so but you could play many. with other people. Like there, they, yes. They, but then in the nightclub, there was this game, Icebreaker. It was so yeah. hard. It was uh, so... Was it upstairs? Yeah. Oh, on the game. On it was the arcade upstairs game. in the arcade at the nightclub. It was so goddamn fun. I want to play it tonight. Ugh. No, but like the thing is, there was that era where Club Penguin rewrit- rewritten and like yeah. CP Online. There was like all these like remade fan versions that were like exact replicas. We would play it in college. In college. Like we'd be, in we the were, library. We took this religious ethics class and like we and two of our other friends we sat in the middle of the class and the four of us were just playing Club Penguin all day. Oh and like God. how embarrassing. No. How awesome. Like, how imagine, cool. Imagine sitting behind people <laughs> and they're just like hanging out each other's igloos. I'd be like so fun. I want to join. But I know other people were doing it too because we would be like talking on Club Penguin and people would be like, oh, I'm at, I'm in class right now. Too. It was all like, like college we were, students. All, yeah, all college students. And you could say anything on that version. And well, that was like. started cracking down. Yeah, then they did crack somewhere. down, which is annoying. But then it was during like elections. So we would like spread gospel about who to vote for. We'd say, guys. We loved Beto O'Rourke at that time. We'd be like, vote for Beto <laughs> yeah. all around Club yeah, Penguin. I'd get in fights with people about climate change. Like, I, I bet climate yeah, you, denier. It got really political during it that did. era. It did. I loved that era. Oh, I want to bring it back so bad. Well, you can't because there was one of them was like a sex trafficker or something. No, what? It wasn't sex traffic. It was Club child- Penguin rewritten? Yeah. It, I don't think it was Club Penguin rewritten. I think it was... I don't I I don't know. Allegedly it was like CP online, I, I think. What? But what had happened was it was like it was a huge scandal made news. They should make a documentary about this. But the, when we were in college. Yes, the people what? who it was like maybe I mean, we were doing this our freshman year of college, maybe it was like our junior year. Um, but the people behind it, like the person who like came up with it or was in charge of it, was like grooming and like <gasps> molesting like the <gasps> his empl- his little employees who also were like volunteering on like the website i think you guys have to look up the oh actual article God. but it was something like that and then disney heard of this or whatever and put like a because well, their ip yeah they put a whole copyright claim <gasps> on it and so like now there's like it does none of it exists anymore there's like it's really hard to find like an actual good maybe it's remake. for the best that it just lives in like this like nostalgic light in our memories yeah it really shaped like it really shaped us i loved it it was so fun webkins and club penguin of course shout out to like do you know virtual magic kingdom it was yes, lucky, like the club penguin before um, toontown Toontown, shout out Toontown, shout out Sims, Sims. of course. Oh, Disney Channel original games. Can we just touch on this briefly? Yeah, sure. Pizza Party Pickup to this day is one of the best games I've ever played. I don't know what the fuck that is. You don't know Pizza Party Pickup? No. 
It's you are in Sweet Life of Zack and Cody world. Uh, You're in the Tipton Hotel. You choose your character. You could be Maddie, London, Zach or Cody. And you have to bring pizza to your pizza party and you have to make it through every level of the hotel. And there's fun. There are people trying to trap you. Um, like all the other characters are trying to trap you. You have to make it through. You have to collect all the things along the way. There's like an ice cream sundae you have to pick up and cherries and coins and you have to make it to the top. Grant, I've never beaten the game. It's the hardest fucking game. I tried to play like a few months ago. Yeah, they still, you could probably You could still still find it. Look up Pizza Party Pickup online. It was so fun. I love Disney Channel original games. Then there was Raven Pinball. That was so fun. They, like, they just don't make it like they do anymore. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it was just like sign of the times, but virtual worlds, that was just, it was great. It It was was such a time to be alive. Now it is time to get to announcements for the good of the group. For the good of the group, um, I have one. Why? The word "twink" is not a slur. Mm. Like you will find on TikTok or maybe other social media platforms or whatever. Like it will be flagged as like a slur. The definition of twink is a skinny, young, youthful-looking gay man mm. and uh, like it's used jokingly The I guess the reason it's called a slur is because like it's used kind of jo- jokingly or in like a negative light but it's used that way by other people in the community like you don't see re- necessarily like a straight man calling like like oh you fucking twink yeah no it's like they'll call it's, you it's vocabulary you, that was I feel like created or made popularized yeah. by I, the lgbtq community yeah. i assume so unless i'm like wrong yeah maybe but like yeah a straight man's gonna call you a f slur they're not gonna call you a twain like it's just so weird and i think when social media platforms or whoever flag a word like that as a slur i think it's almost like homophobic in itself where it's like you're it's so hard to explain, but it's like you're silencing like a, a term commonly used within the community and you don't you, like they clearly don't even know the meaning of. And then like my, my alma mater um, reached out to me uh, to do like a feature for Pride Month, like the, my the College of Communications of the school I went to. And they were asking me about, like, my comedy or whatever. And so I told them about, like, a twink a twink and a redhead as well. And this school may or may not be in Florida. Wait, you didn't tell me about this. I know. I'm telling what you happened? right now. It happened today. What? They said that, like, because I talked about doing stand-up in New York and then also, like, talked about my job and also a twink and a redhead. And they are like everything's fine but i don't think we can like use the word twink but it's the name of your comedy channel yeah they can't use the word twink what did you say and that and and low-key like the person who reached out to me was like talking about how it's been like really hard to do pride month features because like the upper office or whatever has been like really censoring a lot of it oh my god but it's like that's just like an example like you like because our name has twink in it like yeah it can't be used so yeah that's my announcement for the good of the group is twink is literally not a slur it's just Mm. a a word and it's like just like a silly goofy word yeah (laughs) what's your announcement do you have any announcements i mean i just want to announce something that has gone on in my life for the past two months oh no and it's that i've been like really struggling because no. i have no time to do anything because of vanderpump rules <laughs> and i know the whole scandal is kind of over now yeah but i went back and watched all 10 seasons it's the best television i've ever watched and i'm not a reality show girly like the extent of my reality shows are great british bake-off yeah and survivor those are the reality mm. shows i like vanderpump rules is so addicting like they're all such awful people (laughs) that like the least awful ones like you're rooting for a little bit but even the awful ones 
it's so hard to explain what makes that show magic. But they're just so awful to each other. But they've been friends for so long. It's incredible television. Yeah. And I think you should watch it. I haven't watched it. I don't I don't know. It's just like sometimes when I feel like this, the ship has sailed, I, I just let it sail. But like sometimes <laughs> I feel like it's so worth it to just go back and binge. Yeah. Like <laughs> they hit each other. <laughs> <laughs> we hit each other. Yeah. But they like hit each other out of like anger and hatred. So do I. Yeah. No, we do it out of No, but seriously, like, it's so good. So I just want to make that announcement that I'm, like, such a big fan. And I'd love to, like, meet some of them. Except I would not want to meet Tom Sandoval. Just because he seems (laughs) so mean. So true. No, that's so true. Anyway, sorry. That's I know it's a little, like, okay, who cares anymore? But I care. And I'll continue to care. And you guys, if you have announcements for the good of the group, you can send them to a twink and a redhead Instagram at yeah. a twink and a redhead. But there's underscores in every space. OK, you know what I mean? Um, But yeah, so this has been so much fun. So you guys. Fun. It's been so much fun hanging out with you guys. I hope that you all have a great week. I hope you're having a good summer. Yeah. A twink. It was so nice so meeting nice you. you guys. Bye. Bye. A twink. And a redhead. A twink.